Easy, bud. A few months ago, some of my friends and I threw out the idea of going to Colorado for spring break. We had talked about going the past two years, but it never became anything more than the idea. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Now that we were seniors, this was our last chance to make this happen. The idea started with just a few of us, then a few more, and finally, we had a grand total of nine guys who were on board. Our goal for the trip was simple. We wanted to see a new part of the country and take advantage of the endless opportunities it had to offer. For some of us, this was gonna be our first time skiing out west. And for others, their first time making it west of the Mississippi. The only problem was we had to figure out the best way to get the nine of us and all of our gear across the country. Bojangles, and then we're coming back. This is all um, just for the fast food run. <laughs> they made it. We made it. We ready, boy? We are ready. See the stash stack. ready. Oh, damn, son. <laughs> it is officially spring break, ladies and gentlemen, and we are heading to Colorado. We've got a 22 hour drive ahead of us. We're packing nine dudes into two cars, and we're gonna see what happens. Kentucky somewhere. We yeah, can't feel my left knee. Everything's gonna fall. You ready? It's just a, oh. We're headed to uh, Denver, Colorado. Oh, That's it. Cook, where are we at? Dude, I don't know, man. I just woke up. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> This thing's a piece of shit. Let's go. So, um, <laughs> I love waiting on Shane. It's my favorite part about the, the f puts the Colorado. emergency brake on in the <laughs> goddamn parking lot. We're flying. <laughs> in Colorado 22 hours later and we are in Denver but we are here at our Airbnb just checking in bringing all our stuff in and uh, we're gonna settle in for the night kind of cozy down and figure out our plan for uh, the rest of the week how are we feeling boys Dude, we a little poop so who gets first shower Dude, we're poop. <laughs> Mike's already, Mike's already oh, Mike's in there. There. <laughs> Carl, lockdown strapped up Car strapped up, ready to go, boys. Some of us are, are gonna go hit the river, do some fishing. The, real men are gonna the other guys are doing a little hike river, in Boulder or Estes. What are we thinking today, though, boys? It's a good day. It's a good Great day. day. It's, it's time to day. enjoy it. We're in Colorado. I ate a slice of pizza. I'm good till lunch, so I can wait as long. That's just me. How you feeling about today, Mike? You know, all right, so here's the analysis for today. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen, but it's going to be a great-ass time. We're going to love it. There's young Nico coming just to the final sweep of the house. House is clear. House is clear. Ready for the next step. I reckon we're going to see some miles today, huh?
Look who, uh, look who we ran into here in Boulder. Hey. Getting a little, little fishing action in. Met up with our boy Scott, showing us around. We actually fished together a couple years ago when we first came. And uh, so we thought, let's link up again, let's do some fishing, and uh, see if we can make it happen. Two beads. Two of them. Two of them? Double the trouble. Double the trouble. Those here are super pretty. Of course, I, uh, I went downstream for a little bit, away from these guys, and then come to here like 20 minutes later, they've been slaying them. Um, just another day, curse to the camera. What are we doing? We go to the car, maybe get uh, some Bruce, and definitely some PB&Js. Maybe some Pringles. Yeah, we're gonna get back after it. What fish happened, man? the fish. Oh, shoot. Nice one, too. Hey, Sam. Yeah. We don't want none of that Kevin Van Dam hook sets out here, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> These fish are too tiny for that. <laughs> Might fling them out of the water. After a steep hike back to the car, at altitude we were not quite adjusted to, we were pretty gassed. So we decided to call it for the day and make our way to where we'd be staying the next few days. All right, we just made it to Estes Park. Super cozy cabin we've got here, and it should be should be a nice night just to relax and rest the legs. Haven't had a whole lot of sleep on this trip yet, but looking forward to the rest of the week and uh, next couple days here in Estes Park. Life ain't ever what it seems, but these dreams are more than paper things. It's alright, mama, you're afraid that I'll be poor along the way. But I'm Yo, check that out right there. Hey, look. Looks like a construction or... A structure of some sort. Yeah, the stones. Yeah, that's where we're going. Oh, nice. Alright, alright. Jesus, Charles, and About to go to Deer Lake in Rocky Mountain National Park. Deer Lake, baby. Deer Lake, baby. <laughs> Deer Mountain. Deer Mountain. Deer Mountain. Never Deer mind. Is it a lake? No. No lake. No, there no. is a lake that we can see though. Oh, okay. Sweet. But it's just Deer Mountain. <laughs> Mike, you ready? You know it is. Where are we at? You know where we're at? We are at. Where are we at? It's called Deer something. Deer Mountain. We are at Deer Mountain, and Rocky if you look Mountain over that Park. way, there's a mountain. If you look over this way, there's a mountain over this ridge, and we're about to hike that ridge, and we're gonna have a good day. If I could steal your fish on by the heel, by the measure of the times only we can remember good times. We're checking along up the trail, we're getting some some pretty epic views here off to our right and uh, getting close to the top. <laughs> Going for shame. That's the summit, it's right there. It's in our sights, but we can't see it. Not yet. So much better now. Uh, 
Uh, right, we Iron made it. One. Made to the top. I made 10. Absolutely yeah. incredible. But I think the last so 0.2 been, miles, we were only thinking bag. about the PB and J's we made earlier, and then we now get a feast on. What's the word? <laughs> They're beautiful, mate. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's worth the hype, baby. <laughs> Deer Mountain, it's an incredible hike. We're walking on pack snow. If you step off the trail, leg snapped. So just be careful out there. <laughs> as I'm trying to like not yeah, as fall, backwards. walking backwards down a hill, not the smartest idea. Day. It's a beautiful sunrise. Snow. We got snow last night. No telling how much snow we got on the top of Pallet Peak, which we're about to go to summit. Cool dude. Alright, well I'll catch you guys later. I just yes, sent sir. the address yeah, into awesome. the group. We'll see you guys on the other side. Alright man. We're about to hit the fly shop, get some flies. Rip some lips. About to make our way to Breck. <laughs> Luke's yes, first sir. time fishing, man. Yes, sir. About to be my first time fly fishing. I'm Here's excited to do it out here. Let's do it. Cook brought a full Tempur-Pedic pillow and a freaking sound machine to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> he slept with a sound machine in our room. I bet y'all are sleeping nice. No, he just no. wastes the space, man. <laughs> We, uh, we just stopped into town, checked out a fly shop, got some intel, got some bugs, and uh, we just made it out here. We got Luke. Hey, what's Luke's up? first time, first time fly fishing, so we're gonna try to show him how, to, how it's done, see if we can uh, can't catch a fish or two while we're out here before we have to head back into town. Here we are at the Bear Lake Trailhead, getting ready to summit Hallett Peak. Put the sunscreen on. Look, early bird gets the worm, is what I'm just saying. What I'm saying. Sun just came up. We're going up there into the clouds. Don't fall through the ice, man. Here's our sign. Buried all the way down. It's snowing. It snow's deep. Just now getting able to see some mountains. We had to strap up with a couple extra layers. Currently about 11,000 feet close to the top. Let's get it. Going up there. We're uh, keeping an eye out for Sasquatch. Possibly the Yeti with these kind of conditions. Fishing that first hole, got my fly stuck in the grass behind me. Tried to yank it out, not even that hard. My rod just, my rod just snapped. I've made like 10 casts and it's already snapped. It's a bummer. Well, when it hits the fan, man, you just gotta roll with it. We got uh, the other rod rigged up, and within like three or four casts, hooked up this little bow. It's a nice chunky guy, right in that uh, that seam right there. Awesome little fish. I guess. Let's go, dude. We got Luke out here learning how to cast and everything, yep. making it happen. Oh, set. Oh. Set, set. Nice, dude. Hold it tight. Yeah, good stuff, dude. Give him some line. Give him some line. Let him, have some, let him take it. Just keep it tight. Keep that rod high, man. And slowly start bringing him this way. It's a good fish, dude. Left. Let's go. Let's 
go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Let's go, baby. Yeah, man. Goal accomplished. It's awesome. a pretty one, too. First river trout. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. It got away. He was right there. No. Oh, gosh. Oh, I snapped that. Damn, dude. That was good fish. You snapped it? Snapped me clean. And of course, as I uh, was going back to the car to put my broken rod away in, Luke calls me, says he has a fish. This man's killing it. Bigger? A little bit bigger, maybe a couple of them. Damn, look at this guy, he didn't even need me. Oh, dude, awesome fish. Woo! Like literally every time you told me to like set the hook, I would like whip it. But the moment you weren't here, I did it like so with such finesse. And it was yeah. a nice little fight. And I brought him over and I was all by myself. And so I'm sitting here trying to pull in the fly rod. And like your first time out. <laughs> my first time out here and had to pull it in with the net. All right, boys, what do you think? First time fishing. It was an incredible okay. day. It's pretty cool. I caught two fish. It was extremely satisfying. Tangled three lines. <laughs> really satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, what do we think? Dude, it's game time. Yeah buddy. Game time, baby. Alright, I can probably hit this. We're at Arapahoe Basin. Hey Basin. Got to hit the slopes for the first time in Colorado. Yes sir. It's going to be a good treat. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Stash game. Here we go. Yeah man, did a little bit of snowboarding this morning. Had a nice breakfast, I chefed with the help of Sam. It's pretty nice. But I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, if you turn your head that way, look at it. It's pretty nice. Look, look, look. See, Scotty, didn't you, so didn't you see that? Dude? What did I see? I don't know. Didn't you see Cook, like, kind of like, be a pansy today? Oh, such a pansy, dude. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. He's softer than the snow, man. <laughs> softer <laughs> than, than the snow. snow. <laughs> Check out the snow on the right. Scotty said he's dropping in from up there, top of the peak. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Travis Rice. Gotcha. You have to play penny attention because we're in Frisco. Are you going to sing it? Of course. You can sing anything. I'm in a batch in Frisco, but I couldn't score a job. So I did the next best thing And I learned how to ride <laughs> Well I took that train to Houston And I couldn't get away Of the fight and dine about that town Yeah, I wow. say
first fish on the fly. It was a beast, wasn't it? It was, it was a pretty good sized fish. It had uh, little red spots all over it. It was pretty cool. Uh, I was told it's a big brown. Credit goes to Sam right there. He set up the rig for me. And uh, all I did was, you know, all the work. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I caught the fish. <laughs> keep it high, keep it high. Away from the rocks, away from the rocks. Up, 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 up. Let's go! Dude, that is a nice brown. Alright, it's day seven. It's the final day of skiing and snowboarding at Arapahoe Basin. And we need a little liquid courage for the day. <laughs> the Bachelor! <laughs> you! Yeah. I think I like that show. The sleeping dreams came down. Pretty things. Pretty much. Snow's good. Uh oh. Someone allowed. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Yo, this is gonna be my favorite run we've done. This is really good. Dude, this, is dope. this is really good. Oh yeah. Oh, there's good snow in there. Howdy. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that was cool. Ah, damn it. God, God, son. <sighs> All right, we just got back from skiing and it is dumping now. And yeah, we're gonna rest the legs because the legs are freaking sh shot right now. Yeah. Uh, legs are shot right now, so we're gonna we're gonna chill out for the next couple hours, enjoy the last night here, and then figure out our plan for tomorrow. Later, boys. Hi, boys. Hi, guys. Yo, Yo, safe travels. Hey. All right. Well, today is Saturday, and from our plan, this is officially our last day in Colorado. But due to the coronavirus, uh, our school actually extended our spring break a whole another week. So we decided we're gonna stay one more day and we're gonna take Nick on his first time fly fishing. And hopefully we can have a, a good day, a dedicated day to just fishing and uh, getting on some nice fish. Ooh. Yikes. They're just things. Just as we were getting going, getting the rods put together. Uh, rods slipped into the door. 
Shane accidentally closed the door. You don't throw no we're, names out. <laughs> we're, two, we're two rods down. That makes three on the trip, so. <laughs> oh my hey. god. Man, that sucks, but what can you do at this point? We're gonna, you know, try to make the best of it. We've got three rods, five of us, but we're gonna get out. We're gonna try to catch some fish and try to move past this whole little situation. I'm not taking blame. What's you going through? What's going this through? is my rod. My rod's rigged up on the side, right? Two rods in the door jam, like I don't care. I'm <laughs> Set your rod somewhere else. I don't even feel bad at this point. Dude. <laughs> my rod's still kicking. Dude, we could duct tape one if you want. Duct tape fixes everything. Fly rod, broken heart, broken chain, fixes everything. <laughs> oh, dude, mine snapped in two places. <laughs> oh, shoot. So, Nick, this is fly fishing. Yeah, this is how every trip goes, just about. You gotta make sure the eyes are lined up on the table. Sure, this isn't gonna work, is it? Nick's hooked up. Hey. Oh, okay. let him run, let him run. Come this way, come this way, Nick. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. Oh! oh. No! There you go. Last cast, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Dude, that was so awesome. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's go. That was That's, hype. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Woo! That's how you end the day, right? What a way to end it. Last cast. Nick, uh, Nick hooked onto a nice little rainbow. I literally told him to take one more cast, turn my back for one second, and sure enough, he hooked onto one. But that's gonna do it for us in Colorado. Absolutely epic time. Look at this place. I definitely know that some of us are considering moving out here one day, or out west. One day, try three months. Try, yeah, try it. We graduated in May. <laughs> see a snowflake on here and it's so beautiful. See, here we are in Narnia. We just walked out of the wardrobe. We're gonna see Mike Jones cast his first fly fishing rod of all time. First of all time, yep, it's gonna be a good time. It's all about Mike today, huh? It's all about Mike today. Cook jumped in the water and saved the day. Saved the day. So, Cook went 
Daniel Hasselhoff <laughs> on the fish over there. Ripped his shirt off and everything, you should have seen him. <laughs> <laughs>